What's up YouTube, Jeff back again, and today I'm super excited because we're gonna be looking at a brand new feature for One UI 4.1 that I've been testing out recently, and it's one that I love, that I think is gonna improve my day-to-day -day operation of my phone, and I think it can do the same thing for you guys. We're gonna be looking at Smart Widgets, which is a feature, like I said, that came out with One UI 4.1. I hadn't tried them out too much yet, but I really wanted to give them a go and then tell you guys what they're all about. So that's what we're gonna to do today. I do wanna remind you guys before we get started, we do have the April giveaway going on right now, spring into a brand new flagship. We're giving away a flagship phone. We're also giving away a Poco phone, M4 Pro. There's also gonna be prizes given out every week to those who participate in the daily entries. The link is below if you guys are interested. So let's go ahead and get started and talk about this. Now you guys know that I like to use widgets. I'm a guy who really enjoys widgets. This widget right here, which people often ask me about quite a bit in the comment section, is a KWGT Pro widget from a pack called Andro 12. Now, I really like using KWGT. I've talked about it in previous videos, and uh, it is a paid app. So it's right here, KWGT, and then you buy the key, which is KWGT Pro. But one thing that I don't like about widgets on Android is that sometimes they take up a lot of space, and you can't stack multiple different widgets on top of one another. Now, iPhone came out with something called Stacks, where you can swipe widgets, kind of stack them on top of each other and just swipe over. Samsung obviously heard the cries of people that wanted this feature, and now we have it in One UI 4.1. So let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. I started playing with them over here. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna switch them to my primary home screen at some point, but I've just been messing around with them, seeing what's possible. So the way you enable these smart widgets, which I call stackable widgets, is you long press on a home screen, go to the bottom where it says widgets, and then the very first option on your Galaxy S22 Ultra is going to be smart widget, which is right here. There's three different sizes. There's the two by two, the four by one, and the four by two. So let me see if I can just do tap this one and hit add. It's gonna add it to the next screen if you don't have enough room for that one and then you can enable your weather info as well. Now this is the default one, which is two by two. And if you notice, when you swipe over, you get another widget, which is a clock. You guys can see it's a dark mode clock here. Now, one thing that I don't like about these smart widgets, particularly the two by two widget, is you cannot resize them up and down or side to side like a traditional widget. For the two by two, you can't resize it either way. You can move it around, which is fine, but I like to have my widget centered. And so this two by two widget particularly bothers me quite a bit. Now over here, this is the uh, four by two, I'll show it to you guys. This is the four by two widget. This one you can move side to side. So you can make it smaller if you want in terms of the width, but what you can't do is you can't move it up or down. So you see I can make it wider or more narrow but you can't do it up or down. Same thing down here, you can go side to side on the four by one, but you can't go up or down. Now compare that to these more traditional widgets that I have over here, like on my home screen, you see how here I can drag it up and down or side to side. Same thing with my Spotify widget here from Android 12, that's not a smart widget, I can resize these up or down and side to side. So that is one thing I don't like about the smart widgets, but, the space that you're gonna save by enabling these is really impressive. You can see on this one, I have a calendar, I got my weather, and I've got reminders. And yes, you can even add KWGT Pro widgets to your smart widgets. So this is a KWGT Pro widget, I believe from the Android 12 pack as well. It's got the date, it's got the day, it's got the weather, it's got the actual weather symbol, the year, and the temperature. So what I could do is because I don't need the default weather anymore, I could just go over here and then when you long press, you can actually remove this one from the smart widgets. And so now I just have the calendar, reminders, and my KWGT Pro weather widget. If you wanna add something, you just long press and go to add widget. And then you can add any of these widgets that you want, which is pretty awesome. You can add Facebook Fidelity. Again, if you wanna add one to KWGT, you just go in here, tap on it, go four by two, and then that's gonna add another widget in here, which you can then set up by tapping in KWGT. 
So here's the pack I was talking about, Andro 12. There's a lot of cool widgets in here. And you know, so I could choose this one and then I could go ahead and save it. If I go back, it's gonna be right there. It needs some resizing, obviously. Uh, sometimes you have to resize the aspect ratio on some of those widgets. But that's what it looks like when you add a KWGT widget. Uh, down here as well, same thing with the smart widget for the four by one, you can add them, remove them. You can also go into current widget settings. If you go in there, you can do day and night colors, or you can match it with dark mode, which will then automatically match it with dark mode if that's what you have on. But if you have day and night colors on, uh, you can change the opacity as well of the, the actual widget. So that's kind of cool. So pretty nice, you know, granular functionality. You can also go in here to the main settings and uh, play with auto rotate if you wanted to auto rotate to show relevant information. If you wanna get your events from calendars and if you wanna get battery notifications on battery widgets as well. So overall, I really do like the smart widgets quite a bit. I, my only complaint, like I said, is I really wish that I could resize these up or down because that does make it especially difficult for this one, the two by two. I would never use this now because I can't really center it in the center of my home screen and that just drives me crazy. But it might be something that you don't mind. But these ones, the four by two and the four by one, I'm definitely gonna play with these, customize them. And then my primary widget is probably gonna be a smart widget so I can get all that information and not take up as much space on my home screen. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. The smart widgets, very, very cool. If you guys have questions about how to use them, enable them, what kind of widget packs I recommend, I link them in the description, but you guys can always ask me for additional recommendations in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon for future videos like this. Again, if you wanna join our giveaway, I'll drop the link below in the comment section. Before we go, still rocking the Moss case. Haven't switched it up because I really like this case so far. I'll probably switch up soon though because I'm always switching cases to review new stuff. Appreciate you guys checking out the video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.